I like to not over harvest, you know, and be careful like if we're going to be picking berries not to not to use those berry pickers that they make uh, because that pulls the bear that pulls the plant on and out of the roots. It pulls the roots out of the ground and we need to be careful for our environment and not do things like that and to always be grateful for whatever is out there provided for us, you know, because with our native values, we respect the land, so we want to take care of it. And if we're out bringing our lunch, we want to make sure that all our garbage comes back with us. We don't want to leave that out there. I think it's just rude to do something like that. You know, being mindful of our native values is, is important because we're taught to honor the land, to, you know, take care of our water and um, take care of the air, make sure that's being kept clean too. And, and to just have respect for one another. It's, and to always give thanks to our Creator, you know, in our language is Ahayun. And we say Kuyana, Kuyana Ahayun, thank you Creator. I don't think I've ever met an elder who didn't share that with me personally, that we needed to be grateful and thankful for what we have. And, and it's something special when you meet new people and you're doing something together like that because a bonding takes place and we want it to be a good bonding. If you want to harvest your plants and store them for winter use, you can do that or you could run down to the store. Berries, you just take those and put them in freezer bags and stick them in the freezer. But remember, you want to pick those late in the fall so that you get that real rich color out of them. And when I store mine in Ziploc bags, I make sure I measure them out to make sure that I have two cups, two cups of berries in there so that when I'm working with my, then that's just the rule of thumb for me. You store two cups at a time and if you're going to be making jelly, then you know you have two cups. If you're going to be working with dyes, then you know you have two cups. And when I store them in the freezer, I just don't throw them in there. I like to lay them flat so that they're easier for stacking. And you want to make sure you label the outside of the bag so you know what you have. Because sometimes, I've, there have been times when I've picked up a bag of blueberries and wondered if it was a gudak berries, if it was blackberries. Catkins, we dried them and kept them in a paper bag. I have lichen that I picked in Sandpoint and I have those, stored those in a paper bag. They just dry. When I'm peeling the bark off of the, the trees and their branches, I want to make sure that I put those in a Ziploc bag, gallon size bag, and I stick those in the freezer because the us, um, when you stick them in the freezer, they're, they're already damp because they're freshly peeled. And you don't want them to mold or get too dry, I think. I personally think that. I just like to keep them fresh in the freezer because, you know, something happens when I pull them out of the freezer and they start to thaw and they're getting ready for me to boil. It just um, lets off a really nice scent in the house. And, and I, I like that.